Ciao a tutti at Ticulio Design District event. My name is Thiago Abreu and I'm a Portuguese product designer based in Shenzhen, leading XLab, a design innovation team at TCL, where we aim for creating new value propositions for the company future by delivering incremental innovations or even concept visions. My design background has always matured around the product. I graduated back in 2006 as a product designer at YAD in Lisbon. After a short stay in Portugal, in 2009 I moved to Barcelona for doing my product design master degree at Elisava. I stayed in Barcelona for around five years before moving to China. However, right after completing my master degree I enrolled in the beautiful six months internship in a quite cool and distinct design office located at Via Privata Caixa, Milano. At XLab, we aim to positively impact planet, people and profit. Once we achieve these three key factors, we can consider that our work is meaningful and well-rounded. To such impact, incremental innovation is not broad enough, however valuable, uh, because you can still pave a way for a more holistic future without the need for forcing big changes, either delivering revolutionary ideas that by consequence they can be valuable, but they tend to push companies to rethink and approach the market in a very diverse way. And as, as you know, at a corporate level, drastic steps are never welcomed. Risking to disrupt business efficiency is a no-go. So that's when, importantly, exists a concept vision that plays, plays its role. The role is to showcase and inspire a far future opportunity and a pathway how to achieve that, which those two uh, value propositions are extremely important to ease any sort of threats in business owner minds. Concept vision is the manifesto that portrays a future context where a product or a portfolio opportunity will shape the company and drive all the departments to align towards a common goal. A concept vision has no purpose to land in the market. It, it, it value it aims more for a strategic tool that predicts a possible future reality and helps the company to evaluate and build upon a prospective future. Besides that strategic tool, as well as a very important PR marketing tool that helps the company to gain coverage and build marketing trends and brand awareness among partners, customers and future buyers. Well, unfortunately, no concept vision has finished the design process until the end. Well, since the process is still young and not mature and established uh, well-rounded in the company, so its iterations on the process occur occasionally. The concept process splits in three stages. So the first stage is discovery. So it's about uh, predict future context and identify opportunities that place in a certain frame. Then you move to execution. Execution is about uh, strategic selection of those opportunities that you tend later on to materialize, right? And afterwards, those materialized selected ideas you need to incubate. Incubate is about testing those opportunities. So, uh, in order to be successful transfer to a new product development, it requires evidence. So, first evidence that we need to have is desirability. It's is, is, is evident that our target audience likes it, wants it. Other source of evidence is as well, uh, technology-wise, is we have enough capability to tell that this is feasible. Another evidence is about viability. From the business standpoint of view, there is a clear prospective opportunity to have a return on investment uh, validated. So in 2020, yeah, a project was successfully transferred to a new product development stage. Uh, we were so excited. 
Bear in mind, it was the first year of X-Lab. However, it prematurely died. Well, basically due to the lack of evidence. That was no proper concept for the company to invest. They were not sure there was so many opening um, points, even though they loved the idea, right? So afterward, uh, we learned three lessons. Concept vision is not a going to market design. Concept vision should not be evaluated without incubation stage. And that concept vision requires a tangible landing perspective roadmap for a higher possibility to be transferred to MPD. Design is a creative, inspiring and yet strategic tool that helps to tackle unpredictable future challenge by bringing a more human approach that ultimately is accountable to impact our professional and yet personal decisions. So I encourage young designers that they are embracing the beginning of their professional journey to prioritize purpose and to be humble and stick with those leaders and mentors that they are kind and empathic. Such values are extremely inspiring because those persons that have no fear of being vulnerable and those are essential leadership values for the future of business and our lives in general. Ci vediamo presto ti Gulu Design District. Bye bye.